Hi, I'm Dr. Fiona Caldwell, and I'm a veterinarian at Idaho Veterinary Hospital. And I'm answering questions from Pets Best Facebook page today. The first question comes from Linda. What to do about a one-year-old dog that has had four urinary tract infections? We've tried changing the diet, adding cranberry supplements. She's on antibiotics once again for a whole month. We have a doggy door, so both dogs are able to go out anytime. Any ideas? Well, it sounds to me like you've been working with a veterinarian already since the urinary tract infections have been diagnosed and she's been on, on antibiotics. But you might um, make sure, and I'm not sure what your veterinarian's already done, but I would recommend that you do a couple additional diagnostic testing besides just a urinalysis. Things like an x-ray to rule out bladder stones, which can certainly cause recurrent urinary tract infections in dogs. Blood work might be important just to make sure that her kidneys are producing um, normal urine, urine that, that shouldn't uh, have a problem with infection. Um, She's a younger dog, so there's a possibility that she could have been born with some type of a different uh, anatomy that creates urine pooling that can uh, have bacteria grow in it and then come back up into the bladder. And sometimes certain conditions like that can be surgically corrected, but of course would need to be diagnosed. If the bladder continues to become infected, one other thing that you might think about is culturing it. So have your veterinarian actually grow what's in there and you can make sure that we're, you're using the appropriate antibiotic rather than just picking one out of a bunch. So those are the next things that I would do uh, to try and keep this from being such a recurrent problem. The next question comes from James. My American Bulldog keeps getting a bumpy rash and needs antibiotics to fix it. It only stays away for a few weeks and then comes back. I've tried changing food and we're now on a low ingredient buffalo food. I feel for her and just want it to go away. So because you've used a good hypoallergenic diet, it sounds like you might be able to rule out food allergies as a cause, unless she's truly allergic to buffalo. Uh, that leaves some type of a contact allergen. Uh, I do think that this rash is probably related to some sort of allergies. It may be something that you don't have a lot of control over, uh, pollens, dust, molds, that type of thing. Um, definitely when she has a flare-up, you're going to want to see the veterinarian so that you can get the antibiotics that she needs. But things that you might do to try to prevent it from happening would be um, antihistamines, certain prescription shampoos and sprays. These would all be things that you would need to talk to, again, to your veterinarian about to get dosages and that type of thing. Um, dogs can get allergy shots too, so allergy testing so that um, they can actually get uh, prescription allergy shots is sometimes a, a possibility. Allergies can be really frustrating, but if you work with your veterinarian, hopefully you can formulate a plan that will keep her from continuing to flare up.